Hello everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to The Godfather. My name is Johnny. Today we start our first proper season with Hartberg. It's been an eventful summer. Lots of players come in. I've been like an accountant sorting out the finances for this football club and I've done a sterling job, I think. Let's take a look. And we're back everybody, here we are at TSV Hartberg, the wonderful club who are in financial crippling, disastrous ruin. You look at that, this big red figure up here, this is where they're at, £4 million in debt, but I am starting to turn things around. I'm doing a lot to make sure we actually make money. I've got rid of some of the big earners in the club, and I'll be honest, I've relied on loan signings. It's not the ideal way to bring in a, a stable team, but we are full of loanies who I'm not paying a bean. I don't know if that's gonna bite us in the ass. It may do. If you are new to the channel and you're jumping on board now, please hit that thumbs up button and make sure you subscribe to the channel. We've got lots of good content coming up over the coming days, weeks, months, and years. So finance is fixed, let's show you the team. Let's start with outgoings, and this was the main man I wanted to get rid of. He was on like 8.25K per week, 32 years old, a right back. He's not even that good, let's be honest. So Tobias Kainz, he's gone. He went off to Sturm Graz, who are in our league. To be fair, there were two players. I put them on the transfer market, and immediately lots of clubs came in for them. And I, I now worry that maybe these players are half decent, and I'm just a very terrible judge of character. But £800,000, 32 years old. He was bleeding the club dry. I'm glad I've got rid of him. And the next one is even better. Peter Herring. 32 years old again, old as hell. He wanted to be a centre midfielder, and he's not. He's just technically dreadful, you know. He's good at defensive and good in the air, six foot two and jump in. But again, put him on the market. Almost a million pound we got for this lad. And he's had a really good couple of years for us. We've almost kept our money, and he came from heart. Maybe that's where I recognise him from. But yeah, so he's gone to Alaska, who I believe are in our league. We got two, yeah, they are indeed. Okay. Brilliant. So we got two players who might come to bite this in the bum as things progress. But let's meet the new faces that I've brought in. And first up on that list is this lad, Jonathan Burkhardt, who is a very good player. Super happy with this. We picked him up on a free. And look at his value. £2 million. He's come from Mainz, who released him. He only played three games last season. Um, picked him up. We're paying him £2,000 a week, which is an absolute steal. Very good mentals, very good physicals. A good pressing forward. Super happy with this guy. Don't know if he's going to be a top goal scorer for us, but he's going to be a very industrious player in this team. So happily get Jonathan through the door. Next up, we've got this keeper, Nicholas Heddle, who is going to be a backup, to be fair, but I still need another keeper. So at the moment, he is going to be our first choice. It's our weakest area on the pitch. His first touch of one, it scares me, I'll be honest. That ball goes within six feet of him. He just falls over like a pack of cards. The third and final signing we've made is this guy, Bumberger. I signed him simply for his surname. I'm that immature. I do not care. But he's a half-decent player. He's got some decent traits as well. Short, simple passes, opponent tightly, no through balls and stays back at times. What I want from a centre-back. He's not going to be a left-back in the slightest. Also, his physicals are very nice to look at. I just need to get these 13s down to 12s. That would be very nice for my OCDs, I'll be honest. But again, freebie, 2.3 million pounds. Absolutely didn't cost us a bean from SCR Altac, who in the same league as us. He's never performed well if you look at his stats, but I'm very happy to get him on board. Now we move on to the loanies. And the first loanie is this lad, and I'm super impressed with him. He's coming from Hamburger SV. He's got 57 caps for Egypt, which is incredible. He's worth 1.5 million pounds. He is a very, very technically gifted left back, and I'm super happy with Karim Hafez, who again has had a very glittering career. Some proper journey, man. But now that journey has ended in TSV Hartberg, and I'm hoping he's going to have a good season for us. Okay, next up. This lad is definitely one of the best signings I've made. Alex Bilesa, I want to say. He's a Spanish central midfielder, very, very technically good. Vision is there. He's got fantastic stats across the board, to be fair. Central midfielder, we need is somebody as a deep line playmaker type role. He's come in. He's free. He's from Borussia Dortmund. What a sign in. And next up, we've got Paulos Abraham, who I think is Tammy's brother, possibly cousin, maybe uncle, one or the other. He's a good player. He's going to play on probably the right wing at the moment as a winger. I'm not too sure. The tactic, I'm not soaked on. I want to change it, but the Jalava, we're going to bring that one over. But again, on loan from Bayer Leverkusen. 
by a zero foot by a Leverkusen spot on 3.5 million he hasn't really done much he had a decent season in Portugal last year 10 goals in 25 let's see if he could can continue that with our club and the next low knee is Diogo Said who's coming from Red Bull Leipzig a very very good right back he's more defensively solid than the left back I've just shown you but going forward he offers a lot good crossing good passing good technique very very happy with Diogo and that brings us to the end of the transfers as things sound Samson Alps very good centre back was worth 4.3 million has got some teams sniffing around Lawns Arminia Bielfeld I would sell him if they came in maybe 5 million plus but I don't want to sell him anything under that the last offer we had was 1.7 million can you imagine what I said to that so that's our transfers let's take a look at the tactics so with everything that's gone on now with these new people coming in that's how we're starting it is the Jalava tactic we brought over as a 4-2-3-1 it served us well I'm hoping it's going to continue to back four of Havez, Lakanda, Baidu and Said with Hedl in goal, who I really need to change. He's, he's not good at all. He's one and a half star, for God's sake. I really like the midfield pairing. Biesa and Sturm. People are sniffing around Sturm. We've had a few offers in from Lawns. Told them to do one again, although they are offering decent money, I will say. And in front of those, Vrusai, Igbonekwa, and Abraham with Burkhardt up top. I'm not too happy here. I want to put Abraham here and I want to get rid of Rusai. I'll be honest with you, but I haven't found somebody to replace him. So I'm not completely finished with the transfer market. Another winger and a goalkeeper and I will be happy. Up front, maybe another option to come alongside Burkhardt because him and his own up there, don't know, I'm not sold on it. But let's find out how we're going to do today against Wacker Innsbruck. Actually, before we get into that game, one change, bum burger. He was sat on his bum eating a burger on the bench. I brought him on. Why would I not start the bum burger for absolute comedy value throughout the entire series? Today, we go against a very decent team. They were one of the jobs I applied for, and they said no. Computer said a big fat no. So I'm a little bit annoyed. We should be winning this one fairly comfortably, should we? Let's say we're favourites, because I don't know if we are favourites. Like We've come from a, a place of absolute insecurity at the moment. Sideline, key highlights, everything's lovely. We must be kicking off late, because everybody scored a lot of goals. Yeah, it must be. Let's demand a bit more. We are in the white kits and the blue shorts. And Waka are in the, I want to say green, but it's very, very dark green. But we've got the first one. Saeed out wide. Can he get the ball in? Back to Sturm, who I like a lot. Side, he got tied. Get the ball in, boy. He's got it in. Penalty? No. It's going to be cleared now through Vaca Innsbruck. Or oh, unless we can tackle them. Look at this boy go. Oh, what a, ch what a terrible challenge. He's still going. Dun, dun. Oh, my word. Who's that boy? Who is Dunholtz? Dear Holtz. I might have a look at him now. I need a winger, don't I? Although he was probably... He's in a eight. What position are you, mate? You just took on my entire team. Let me pause it. He's 19. Determination is high. Very good acceleration. Good pace. Passing is high. He's only worth £650,000. And he wants to move to a bigger club. Am I that bigger club? <gasps> oh, they want £3.3 .3 million. Why am I buying players? As I'm literally sat on the side of the pitch like a fallen his agent. I'm watching your boy right now. Can I buy him? Let's exit those talks. Let's, let's make an inquiry as he's on the pitch in front of me. If he has a good game, he might have an absolute dreadful remaining 75 minutes. Who knows? Let's demand a bit more. Come on then, boys. We're 1-0 down and we're being battered as well. Here's a highlight of Bumberger up to Sturm. Out to Rochelle. Rochelle. I need to work on his name. Tammy Abram out wide. Cut inside, my son. All cross it. Good ball, Burkhardt. Why did you take so long to hit the ball? It's like he controlled it with both feet, then gave it a cutch, and then shot. Not the best, let's be honest. Here we go. Marcelo Bielsa, out to Tammy Abraham. Goes past his man. What's he going to do with it? Back to Sturm. Tied, you get the ball in. We're not crossing the ball. I need to change that. So if I ask these lads, Saeed, eh? I want you to cross from... Where is it? From deep. That's it. And then have has the same. Cross from deep. So don't wait until you get right to the byline. Just get the ball in there. 40 minute mark is coming up. Not the greatest start, let's be honest. Here we go though. Vrushai, great ball. 
Oh, it's cleared with ease. I don't know how we do for height in this team, but it's something I could look at. I should probably have already looked at. Bumberger. Here he goes. Out wide. Into Sturm. Afez. Oh, this is good play. Vrushai. Where do you go, my boy? Back to Marcelo Bielsa. Terrible ball. Saidi, though. Tammy Abraham, you've got time. Cross it now, then. That's it. Oh, my word. The crossing thing has worked, at least. They're not just running to the byline. They're actually getting the ball in there now. But... They're getting the ball in there, and those giant big heads. That's probably the worst demeaning team talk I've ever seen. Uh, that's what I say to my four-year-old. I'm not angry. I'm disappointed in you. Come on. Good to see the Salford and Coventry are in our league this season. Okay, throw in. Hafez. Guess it in a clear, though. Yoda on the ball. Do some magic. Into Sturm. The pass is on at wide. And again, Tammy. And then cross early. No. Whatever, back to Yoda, who called him over through the arts. Ball goes back, back into Tammy. This is nice play, but nothing much is coming. Tammy, go on, my son. Do something. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, this is an annoying game of football. There's so much I need to do with this team. And you know what? I don't think it's the personnel. I think it's the tactic. It's just not working. Burkhard, oh. Hits the beans on toast. Let's make some more changes. Who have we even got, though? Kviasina, he's the target man. Let's put him up top and actually shift him up. We've got all these balls coming in. Let's get him up there, scoring them with his big fat head. He might not have a big fat head, but for the narrative, he's got one. And the minute's ticking for like 85th minute. Oh, it's going to be a poor start. It's all over. We've lost our first game at home. The fans are going to be looking at me thinking, what's he doing? He's on the pitch, on the phone to agents, trying to buy players instead of looking at improving what's on the pitch already. Not a good start. We've got some work to do with this club, I tell you what. And if we look at the season preview, which I'll show you, we are destined to finish 8th, 200 to 1, although FC Vaca, who we've just lost to, a 500 to 1 bottom. Oh my days, this could be a very tough, long season. That being said, we're going to zip forward a few months now. As you can see from those two big red circles at the top, it's not been the greatest start. I'm going to work on a tactic. I want to shift things up. I'm going to go and freshen it up. We're going to go for an aggressive attacking style of football. Why not? Let's take the game to them. With that being said, we're going to come back for that last game, 25th of October. If you have enjoyed the episode, please hit the thumbs up button. And I'll see you back here for that episode then. You guys take care.